welcome to What's the 4 in 1 Quick Takes on Urban Lifestyle and Entertainment News. I'm Kizzy Cox. I'm Onika McLean. And I'm Keisha Wilson. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, to, the show. welcome to the show. Thank Keisha. you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. More black girl magic sprinkling around. <laughs> yes, There's black girl dust, magic. Dust <laughs> Speaking of black girl magic, we had a blackout. <laughs> blackout. New York City had a major blackout on the anniversary of the 1977 blackout. Where were you ladies? Uh, this past weekend. I was in Sh- Jersey. I was in Chicago. Oh, lucky you. <laughs> lucky you too. Mm-hmm. I was actually here, but I was in Brooklyn. Oh, and then okay. I started seeing all the alerts come up that, you know, oh, we in the dark. I started seeing pictures on Twitter and like Times Square being dark. I was like, oh, wow. This, that's crazy. My girl was at the J-Lo concert. <gasps> oh, <laughs> like, it happened. Yeah. Yeah. But it, they just redid it. So. Oh my God. Well, man, we gotta get it together, Conrad. Donald Glover <laughs> and Beyonce are voicing two of the most iconic characters in the remake of The Lion King, the movie. Nice. Simba and Nala, respectively. I love Guess them. what, Donald, not Danny, not the old man Danny, but Donald Glover's <laughs> oldest son could care less about his father's work role. He wants to see the movie because Bay Day is in it. Oh, of course. He's like, you know, everybody's in it for Beyonce. Little, yeah. little, little boy. Of course. While yeah. American Airlines recently issued an apology for removing a black female from the plane and asking her to cover up with a blanket before she's allowed to reboard. Wow. Dr. Tisha Rowe. Oh. Good mm. question. Mm. <laughs> Dr. Mm. Tisha Rowe, who was traveling with her eight year old son from Jamaica to Florida posted the incident on Twitter, and American Airlines subsequently refunded her fare. She was asked to board the plane because they felt that her outfit, which was super cute, by the oh, way, okay. was yeah, too exactly. revealing or for the plane. You can't dress like a hoe on American Airlines? Oh, wow. Uh, wow. <laughs> she was she not dressed, dressed like, like a hoe. <laughs> How does American Airlines to tell you how to dress? Exactly. They do have they do have a quote unquote dress code. Where was she in first class? A business class. I don't I don't know where she I was know in the plane. I know but... us and coach, we get to get in. <laughs> and you know what? It's just like nobody knows what the dress code is. They don't apply it evenly. They don't really say it's not explicit what is no. acceptable or not acceptable. So it's like she's like, Well, how are you telling me I don't and I don't follow you know that, that sounds like you know that sounds like she had a nice butt. Yeah, it sounds like yeah. a hating ass stewardess is like, you know what? <laughs> I'm messing with the pilot. Not today. <laughs> Not today, <laughs> show and drag. That's what happened. No, but she's making a great point that, you know, if if, if someone was smaller, you know, it's then true. maybe it would People not have body been an shame. issue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and she's yeah. like, you know what, you know, so. Are you I guys familiar with, with... I don't like American Airlines anyway. Oh, I do. <laughs> okay, I do, but okay, whatever. So, are you guys familiar with Dollar General stores? Yes. Okay. So, well, they're changing their customer base, right? They So, they're going after a different kind of customer. So, what they're trying to do is they're trying to make the Donald, Donald General Stores more like... Um, what? Target not Marshalls, not, not Marshalls, no, like TJ Maxx and Marshalls, Marshalls where like, you, have the, you have the items there and they're only selected so that you have to buy them because what's happening is a lot of stuff is just like going old on the shelf. So it's going to be a situation where you get like these good things. You know how TJ Maxx, you're like, I better get it now. Mm-hmm. It's going to be that kind of thing. So that's what they're doing. Oh, okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Good, good for them. Hopefully they it want wealthier out. shoppers. I mean, I don't think wealthier, but you know what I mean. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but uh, you know, rich people like a good deal. I mean, very true. That's how they stay rich. They shop at the dollar store. No, mm-mm. they steal cultures. Oh, <laughs> whoa. Hey, all right. Oh, well. I'm sorry. You're not well, Jermaine Dupree did not steal the culture. <laughs> However, <laughs> he's not impressed with Megan Thee Stallion. Cardi B and Nicki Minaj. He had a lot to say about these three women rappers. He told People Now, and this is part of his quote, Mm -hmm. okay, you got a story about you dancing in the club. You got a story about you dancing in the club. You got a story about you dancing in the club. It's like, okay, who's gonna be the rapper? Now I think the point he was trying to make is that, you know, everybody's kind of rapping about the same thing and he wants to see variety and all that. So what about the guys? Exactly. Exactly. They all talk about the same thing. Leaning. Exactly. (laughs) And Percocet. And and, and, and trapping. Right. Guns. Right. Cars. Clothes. Is it really guns? They don't even talk about guns anymore. Yeah. Do they? Sure. Mm. Okay. Listen. So then, so Cardi B clapped back because you know that's what Cardi does. Team Libra. Team Libra. So she said, you know what? Okay, guys. (laughs) I'm going to have to leap a lot of this. She said, um, 
first of all, J Jermaine Dupri said I only talk about my P word. <laughs> I'm gonna say something. I rap about my P word because she's my best friend. Is she? <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking about okay, go ahead. Her privates, right? She raps about it because it's her it's her best friend. And she said that's what people want to hear. I'm not even gonna front when I did be careful, people were talking about it in the beginning, like what the blank is this? This is not what I was expecting. It's like if that's what people ain't trying to hear, then I'm gonna start rapping about my P word again. And she's like, if people like wanna be careful. if Right. Don't but, hurt her. That's like yeah, Right. But then a lot of people were not necessarily buying that as much as the other songs or downloading it. And so that's her point. She said, if you want us to rap about different things, support us. Support us. And to Barbie's credit, she said, she was like, listen, there are a lot of women out here who are rapping about a lot of things. And these bloggers don't support them. They don't give them the recognition. So don't blame that blank on us when y'all are not the ones supporting them. Mm -hmm. And she dropped names. She said, I'm um, Tierra, Rhapsody, Wack, Chica, Kamaya. She said, put these girls on. They are Yeah, put great. them on. Right. Yeah, so. Mm. Go party. Go party. Yes. Well, it's your piece. So <laughs> we can talk about it, I guess. Right? I'm going to stop. And, 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 and. That's what I was like, right? Right? That's the thing. <laughs> they be like, uh, uh, uh. They call it, it. They call it Tigger. I think they call it Tigger. I don't. Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. Just having a moment. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> And for those who thought that Lala Anthony would reconcile with her husband, Carmelo, don't hold your breath. Mm. During her recent shout out to the, all the independent women in the audience at this year's Essence Festival, she there. pretty much oh. closed the door on that reconciliation. So let me just warm up so I can shoot my shot. Hey, oh, Carmelo! Oh, my God. <laughs> Carmelo, you let me. Girl, you can't have a problem with your edges now. Let me tell you something about Carmelo Anthony. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I, you, she shouldn't have said that because uh, take that man back. Stop acting crazy. I, I actually thought they were going to have their little happy ever yeah, after. Yeah, me too. But they, they're really young. They're still really young. Like, give, give them to 50. You know, once they slow down, they prostate start having problems. You know, sometimes they're like, I want my family back. First of all, man. First of all. <laughs> Your family is grown. The kids is, we talking about oh grandkids. Oh my God. Sometimes you gotta give a man some time. You know what I mean? Give oh some time. God, terrible. <laughs> give him some time. <laughs> Captain Crunch. What they was going, they was like, what? What they was talking about with the cereal? What they said? Oh, and she was. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 I don't know about that. That's going to do it for the quick takes portion of our show. Now we're going to move on to our rest of our show, where we're going to be talking about a lot of things, including the controversy surrounding Halle Bailey, R. Kelly. Oh, mm. Halle Bailey. Halle, Halle, Halle Bailey. Who Halle Bailey? Girl! <laughs> what? Tell us. You know what? You're going to have to stay tuned. We're going to tell you who Halle Bailey is. Oh, and we'll talk to Anika on the <laughs> side and let her know. <laughs> And a First really all, crazy vibe filler. We're talking doing. about that. What? Listen, don't snatch your edges. Not okay. that you got your edges back. Don't snatch yes. your edges. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Bye, girl. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, What's the Form One TV, to see the rest of the show. And be sure to hit the bell so when we upload a new video, they will let you know. Also, if you're listening to us on a podcast or the Alexa Flash Briefing, thank you. Now go tell a friend and please subscribe. We'll be right back. What's the Form One for entertainment? Life.